here is, in all its fine glory, our new Atlas MH350. You know what? There's not a thing in the shed I can't do. Apart from hard work, but we don't need to discuss that. Come on, out of the way! Slipped a bit. I ain't driven a crane in about six months. I'm being told off. I'm being told off. Sorry, John. There's even a co co coffee maker at the back. Absolutely amazing. Science, right? We worked it out that because of the red diesel issue now, that we're not allowed to use it anymore. Ten thousand pounds a month extra. So what's the answer? Work harder. What's the answer? Just nick some red off the jet post. I mean. I mean, not work harder is the answer to that one. You can't answer that. Don't bother. Come and dip my tank. <laughs> it's Richard's favourite time of the day. It's welcome to episode 735 of the Scrap King Diaries. And here he is, sports fans. The most charismatic scrap dealer in the world, Richard. Huh? Or welcome to Scrap King Diaries. Episode I don't know, series I don't know. And that's about it, really. What are we doing today, Rich? Um, waiting for the delivery of a new crane. It's due, so we'll see that come in. Do you mean the one that's right here? Yep, there it is. Just landed. We thought we would show you a few things while we've gone for an Atlas. Like unloading this van now, by the way, because the bloke's moaning. Is... Can't you unload that, Rich? No. I'll do it. Save the day. Ooh. You know what? There's not a thing in the shed I can't do. Apart from hard work, but we don't need to discuss that. Nine times out of ten, I'll hit it too hard. And... Uh... Nice oh, one. he's still got it. Come on, out of the way! That was just eloquently... Oh, that was just beautifully done. You'd have think I've done that before. As you can see, so expertly done, the new Atlas has just unloaded that three and a half ton Sprinter van straight off the recovery vehicle. Rich, why have we gone for an Atlas? Um. Because after some research and speaking to people, um, <laughs> they're the best kind to go for. They are the best kind to go for. Now, we've got some interesting stuff to tell you about the new Atlas. Should we go over and have a look? Yep, let's go, come on. I hope you have. I haven't. I have, because I am, because I'm organised and actually planned ahead and thought, oh, let's try and make this YouTube channel actually good. So, we can walk around the crane, do a bit of a tour, right? I think you should take them out of the frame, Rich. No, come on, seriously. I don't know what to do. There. Here is, in all its fine glory, our new Atlas MH350. We've had it about two weeks, three weeks now. Um, we wanted to give the lads a chance to like feel it and get used to it and then actually have an accurate comparison against our old set of boggans. And yeah, it's had really positive results. It's the latest edition in the Atlas range, so it's the most up-to-date version. Um, with that, it comes with a load of benefits, which I'll tell you now. Atlas have been going for over 100 years building machinery like this, so they know what they're doing. We used to go for Senebogum, but we've changed, we fancied a change, so we've gone for Atlas. And so far, it's not, it's not let us down. Aha! So you might find, if you go to other scrapyards around the UK, you'll see a lot of Atlases being used. That is because they are a really, really well-known and respected brand. The MH350, might actually be one of the most commonly used material handlers in the industry. So we knew that everybody else in the industry used Atlas, so it was well trusted, which is what got us intrigued to start off with. And then fortunately we met TDL, who supplied them, and then we had a deal with Gaz, and here we are. Now, is it better than our old ones? Let's find out. The new cranes have a new Deutsch Tier 5 engine, which is very economical. So we save on fuel and it's cleaner and greener for the environment. It's also got an AdBlue system. It's also, as all commercial vehicles now, has an AdBlue system. 
which cleans the um, emissions. Due to the change in, in the law, we can't use red diesel anymore, we have to use white. So it's obviously more expensive for us to run this crane. But being more economical, it helps us save money. As you can see, that's the pump system for all the oils and everything. Um, we try and maintain them. They're checked daily. Any wear and tear, any damage is fixed straight away. Um, we jet wash it every week. We try and keep on top of it to keep it as new looking as possible. We did some cost um, science, right? We worked it out that because of the red diesel issue now that we're not allowed to use it anymore, our diesel bill roughly gone up. Guess how much? <laughs> it's, Ten, it's doubled. £10,000 a month extra. So as a business, we've now had to make an extra 10,000 quid just to fuel the machines to make what little profit we had before. Thanks, Tories. So what's the answer? Work harder. What's the answer? Just nick some red off the jippos? I mean, I mean, not work harder is the answer to that one. You can't say that. Don't bother. Come and dip my tank. <laughs> <laughs> so this grab used to be on our centre boggum. Atlas grabs are notorious for being the best, most hard-wearing grabs in the industry. This one is a 600 litre one. Now the new crane came with a 700 litre, which is amazing, it's much better. Just down to 100 litres extra grab, you can actually save fuel and time and just by loading an extra, you know what I mean, more stuff into the thing. So that's fantastic. That's currently in stores. For once this one needs refurbing in a year or so, then we'll swap the new one onto it as that one was being used. Food for thought. Can we load Sean with the one and two, please? I will load Sean with the one and two Lovely. and do some filming at the same time. Where, where are you going? To back Sean up, man. Move Astra. Yeah. Hold, hold my ADHD. Hold, hold my ADHD toy. So another benefit to the Atlas is its 17 metre reach, which means I can reach my pile of scrap all the way over here and load it straight into the bin all the way over there. Oh my God, Harry, I didn't realise you were such a natural operator of all these machines. Well, you know what? A bit of a geezer, you know what I mean? A bit of a scrap man's dream. That's the reason why I call myself the scrap king, because, you know, there's nothing I can't do. Even your mum said that. a bit. I ain't driven a crane in about six months. I'm being told off. I'm being told off. Sorry, John. <laughs> okay. Okay, after my, uh, after my quick lesson off John, uh, back, to, back to loading. So you may have noticed that there is quite um, a difference in the in the thickness of the arm and boon on the, on the Atlases compared to the old centre boggan. Um, you might think that would actually affect the strength of the machine, but it doesn't at all. What it does do, however, is actually improves visibility when you're loading from it. You can see a lot more area where your grabs go in and you can see around. So it's not only, it's not only easier to actually operate with a, with a thinner boom, it's actually safer as well. So it's all these little things that Atlas have thought of to make it more user-friendly and better. I'm just spinning a bit, one second. Nice, see? Look at that for placement. I've got the lot I have, got the looks, everything. You know what, although I'm a professional crane driver, I'm also a professional waffle chatter. God, I'm just a brilliant chap. Finish it off, John. Got my chest rig on. Come on, Rich, smile at my peckles. Well, lads, thank you very much. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed what? <coughs> Filming? Filming, we didn't finish it. So as I just demonstrated, I thought I'd let John now finish the load off because I was probably gonna damage something. But what it shows you is that arm there, it's a bit thinner. 
he can see a lot clearer over where he's loading and unloading, which makes everything more efficient, safer. That's another reason why the Atlas is a, has got a plus over a center bottom. Rich, uh, what do you think? Huh? What do you think? What do I think? Yeah. Of what? Not, what do you think you do with that? Come on, Jim. <laughs> There's only one machine in your gym. <laughs> well, as you can see, it's a pleasure to drive these planes nowadays. You've got all the engine diagnostics there, tell you about all the levels. You've got the cameras, aircon, massage seats. There's even a coffee maker at the back. Absolutely amazing. Mirrors, windows, door, absolutely heavy radio, Bluetooth for your phone. You can be on the phone all day long. If you like Harry, um, charging points, it's got everything. We've been trying to film this episode, right, for like an hour. And all Richard wants to do is do this. Come here, what this? Rich? 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 What are you doing? I'm building my gym. Boy, nice man, nice. Get a pump on. Watch out. F hell, mate. F me. All right, all right, all right. Let me, look, uh, me man. F oh, cool. Final fact about the Atlas compared to the Center Bogham, the footprint of the crane is bigger. It's a little bit wider, a little bit longer. That improves the stability of the machine when you're loading and loading and spinning around and picking stuff up. Because obviously if you're picking lots of weight up from five meters away, it's a lot counterbalanced. If you're picking weights from like directly ahead of you, it's a lot more stable. But with a wider base, you can pick up a lot more weight from further distance and still have a safe environment to pick it up with. I mean, look at it, it's just perfect. So what would be more perfect than this crane? Follow me. <laughs> so what would be more perfect than having one? It's having two. This is what constantly improving and bettering your company is. 600,000 pound investment we've done into new machines that should last us at least three or four years. But you have to keep up to date with all your equipment because your equipment looks after you. Uh, enough waffle, I want to go play with my new toy. Oh, oh Richard's favourite thing, an escort vehicle. So here we have our second MH350 from TD Adam Atlas. Really impressed with the first one, as I saw earlier. So yeah, we need two, we, need, we, we like things matching in our yard. We like everything in uniform, so that's why we want for these. You know, just like Rich and me in our orange and yellow high visits. In fact, he's got, he's got yellow on today. So that's today's episode wrapped up. We can't afford to pay Will any longer to be here because of the crane. But I hope you liked it. Don't forget, like, share and subscribe. And we have been invited out to Bremen in Germany to the factory that make the Atlas cranes. We should have gone a couple of weeks ago. But due to the airport chaos, we never got there. So we've planned to go in a couple of weeks' time. Can't wait to go look at the factory for nine minutes and then just go to find a nice Bremen bar. Mm. <laughs> no, we'll be there a bit longer. We'll have a decent tour. Oh, 12 minutes. <laughs> but no, thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe and we'll see you next week. Thank you. See you next week. You're all right. <laughs> Cheers, Rob. See ya. Did you get that off, girl? It's the same. It's the smaller thing. The Atlas MH350 is probably the most common or most used material handler in the scrap industry. We have other brands out there. Harry, so why don't you turn it off? Fine, turn it off, Will. Turn it off. The new crane has an engine which is very economical, which saves money on fuel, and it's cleaner and greener for the environment. <laughs> an engine, Will. <laughs> a Deutsch. A Deutsch engine, right? Again.